Okay, this video is about reducing poly count. So to understand how poly count works, um, something like this shape that we have here, um, what I'm doing is I'm right clicking on shaded faces, going to configure, and going into statistics, where I'm gonna do poly count and triangle count. I never really care for vertex count or frame count, and I'm gonna do total and selection. Um, now, I hit 7 to basically pop that up, and it tells me that I have 71 polygons on this shape here, and I'm basically going to uh, convert that 71 to a lower poly count. Now, since this object is not being animated, and this object is pretty much the way it is, nothing nothing special, nothing, you know, I don't know it's pretty much just a, a junk object I created but it's got a lot of extra polygons that we don't need because of the simple fact that you're having all these polygons in there do absolutely nothing okay so at 71 right now um, we are gonna see how many we can reduce this by so the first thing that we need to do is um, we can go in and go into the edge mode and I'm just going to simply loop some of this stuff and it loops this, this, all the way to here, and then it loops this up. So I'm going to hit Control Backspace, and that will remove those at the bottom there. Um, I'm going to do this with a loop. Now I've got my loop short, uh, shortcutted to uh, my asterisk symbol or my multiply symbol. I'm going to Control Backspace and delete that. And then let's do this one. And I'm just going to loop it again and then control backspace and delete that. Now, as you can see, it pretty much creates a uh, the polygons that we need. Um, I'm going to click this one and control backspace that one. And this one, I'm going to go into vertex mode and click this vertex, right click on it and go to target weld. And then I'm going to weld it to this edge over here. Just because that creates two four-sided polygons and everything everything looks good that way okay same thing here I'm gonna right click and go to cut and I'm gonna create a cut that goes to this one so that that gets rid of our four sides there so as you can see I'm already have I've already dumped nearly 20 polygons which doesn't seem like much but if you have 10 of these objects that's 200 polygons all right um, then let's let's clean up this top here. So I'm going to go into edge mode again, and I'm going to start by cleaning up this big edge loop here. That it doesn't really look like what we're doing here. So I'm just going to control backspace this, and let's. I'm just going to clean this all up here. I'm keeping okay now if you notice here I'm going to keep these two polygons and the reason I'm keeping these two these two edges here is because of the simple fact that they line up so nice with the center so let's uh, figure this out here so with this one I am going to cut in one here and one there and that creates a nice quad I'm gonna cut to the corner on this one like, like so and then I believe I'm going to cut to the corner on this one like so alright and you know, I think I think that's good so let's test and see how many quads we've got um, oh looks like I've got an end gun there and the end gun is because of this right here so now I can divide this end gun up um, if I if I so choose but there's another way I can deal with this I could simply grab this backspace it and then cut from this corner to this corner and go back and now it should have disappeared now I'm gonna have it uh, uh, if I look down here 
it looks like I'm going to have some sort of an NGON system here as well. Um, so I can either keep this like it is, which I'm okay with, or if I wanted, I could actually cut this to the corners. If I cut it to the corners, I turn basically these two sides, uh, this into, well, let's try it out. So, so if I cut these, if I delete these, and delete this, and I go like that, now that see how that screws that up automatically. So let's try cutting from this corner to this, and that'll fix that. And then from this corner to that. And that, looking at it, should reduce my polygon count. Except now I've got a um, I've got a cut here, which I'm simply going to go in my edge mode backspace this and let's, let's make sure that it fixed the problem and that did. So I've gone from 71 to 42 polygons. Now that that alone cuts it nearly in half, um, 30 to 29 polygons. Okay, like I said, it doesn't seem much until you multiply it by 10 or, or you know, you want to constrain what you're doing with your, your polygons. Okay. And plus, this still has a good edge flow, uh, or not an edge flow, um, it still has good clean mesh. I didn't really change the geometry at all, and it looks good. So that is a good spot to clean up um, your polygons, all right?